Hello everybody, it's Emery48 here and welcome back to another Marvel Monday. Today we are going over Season 2 of What If, which came out in late December. We have Episode 1, What If Nebula Joined the Nova Corps. Nebula was never one of my favorite characters, uh, but seeing a deeper dive into Xandar is pretty cool. It feels like a, a lower levels of Coruscant kind of feel. Episode 2, What If Peter Quill Attacked Earth's mightiest heroes. Peggy and Howard run shield. Child Quill attacks Earth. Pegasus is the name of shield, I think. Uh, 80s Avengers, Hank Pym, King T'Chaka, the Winter Soldier, Dr. Wendy Lawson, who I don't know who that is. Should I know who that is? The professor from Ant-Man, Thor. Uh, they capture Quill, Hope who is a child at this point, helps break out Quill. Ego shows up to finish the job. Hank convinces Peter to help them save Earth, and Peter kills Ego. Howard and Peggy are kind of a combined Nick Fury. Uh, this is a great episode. Love seeing the continuation of Peggy Carter, seeing what she's up to, and Howard Stark not being dead, working with Winter Soldier is interesting. Episode 3, What If Hogan Saved Christmas? Justin Hammer is the Grinch and Happy accidentally becomes a purple Hulk and saves Christmas. I like Happy as a character, but this story was kind of meh. A good holiday watch, though. I think I, I would re-watch this on a holiday. The first three episodes, though, are not very uh, linked at this point. Episode 4, What If Iron Man Crashed Into the Grandmaster? Tony lands on Sicard, and he is held captive with Gamora, Tony and Korg recruit Valkyrie. They do some rocket racing, essentially. Uh, Tony wins, freeing the planet, and Valkyrie is put in charge with Korg as special counsel. Gamora brings Tony to Thanos, and they try to kill him. Episode 5, what if Captain Carter fought the Hydra Stomper, which I'm pretty sure happened in Season 1 as well. Captain Carter and Black Widow save Secretary of State Bucky Barnes from Steve Rogers in the Hydra Stomper. Captain Carter and Black Widow then fight the Red Room. Um, Peggy breaks through to Steve and he destroys the Red Room. Peggy is then taken by Fury and Scarlet Witch from another universe, confusing the Watcher. Uh, I always enjoy a story focused around Peggy and Natasha. That was a great duo and they really ran that episode well. Uh, that was a fun one. Episode 6, What If Kahori Reshaped the World? Now, I was worried when I was looking at these titles because I had no clue who Kahori was, and evidently, she's new. Kahori is a Native American girl, and she finds the power of the Tesseract from her universe and uses the power to free her people from Spanish Inquisitors and force the Spanish Queen to peace. She is then recruited by Strange Supreme. This is where the episodes really start kind of meshing. I feel like the first like three or four were just cool stories that didn't really matter to the end of the season. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know, because there a lot happened in the last episode. Episode seven: What if Hella found the Ten Rings? Now, I was never a big Hella fan in general, so an episode around her I wasn't thrilled about. But the Ten Rings was an interesting part of Shang Chi that I enjoyed. Instead of being imprisoned, Odin strips Hella of her powers and banishes her to Earth pretty much what she, he does to Thor later. She finds the owner of the Ten Rings and is trained in tallow. Odin comes for her and she wins, beats him, uh, becoming a beacon of light, uniting Odin and the Ten Rings, getting her powers back. They stop Thanos as he finds Gamora. Episode 8, What If the Avengers Assembled in 1602? The Asgardians are a 1600s royal family and Hela dies. Modern-day Captain Carter was brought here by Scarlet Witch to help them, but they blame her for Hela's death. Peggy finds Stark and gets his help. She also finds Roger's Hood, helped by Bucky and Scott Lang. Sword fighting in Marvel is hands down amazing. Doesn't really have a place most of the time, but my goodness is that fun. Happy is the head of King Thor's military. She also recruits the Hulk. Happy is Purple Thor, uh, Purple Hulk, not Purple Thor. Steve was not meant to be there, 
but he had hit the time stone while fighting Thanos in his universe and got sent back in time, and he was the reason why this universe was breaking. Peggy has to banish him to reset the universe from dying, saying they never get their happy ending. She is then met by Strange Supreme. Episode 9, What If Strange Supreme Intervened? Strange Supreme has been capturing universe killers, but he sent Captain Carter after one he lost, which is Kahori, which appears he has also been capturing righteous heroes, like Kahori to power a forge to bring back his universe. Peggy breaks out the universe killers to distract Strange. She gets the Infinity Stones off Killmonger and works with Kahori to fight Strange. The righteous heroes, I think, is who this is? sacrificed their weapons to Captain Carter and Kahori. Kahori then sent them home, and Strange basically went feral. Everything, all the demons inside him are coming out. Uh, Strange dies in the forge, and his original world is recreated without him. The Watcher sends Kahori home, and Peggy doesn't go home just yet. She stays with the Watcher. This was a really fun season. Uh, a lot of Peggy Carter involved, which is great it's weird though the first couple episodes didn't tie into the end as much as season one season one like everybody came back in the the end but this one it was like we, we get some side things things that could have happened but they never really work together they never unite which is fine i don't need them to unite but it was kind of an expectation i had based off the first season with that said really enjoyed season two comparable to the first one i don't know if i'd put it above the first one or not but i did really like it and strange supreme is gone now uh so if there is a third season of what if he won't be in it and it they left it off where it could easily have a third season because captain carter is hanging out with the watcher now that's all i have for what if season two let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you everybody so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day